Okay, girls, let's go, girls. Shopping. We're heading to shop. charity shops. We're heading to a couple of my favourite shops on this stretch in Ipswich. And um, we're going to go to Sense, first of all. Great bargains in Sense. Okay. Lovely staff, too. We love a bargain. Love a bargain. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Okay, girls, so what if you could choose would you like to find today in this wonderful charity shop? Okay. Well, I'm after some jeans, but they're a bit boring, so if I can find something a bit more quirky. Quirky? Quirky, quirky trousers? Or, yeah, maybe. Or just actually. bell yeah. bottoms. Yeah. Bell oh, bottoms. Uh, no, let's not do bell bottoms. <laughs> and, and Joe, what about you? You've got a specific requirement, yeah, haven't well, you? I don't, I don't like wearing anything with plastic in it, so if mm. I can find some really nice wool jumpers or yes. cotton tops or something like that, something that's put really nice natural fibres, that'd be great. And bright colours. OK, let's go. Not oh, yellow. Not <laughs> yellow. Not yellow. <laughs> let's go. Oh, and do you like this? <gasps> ah! Is it good for me? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, OK. <laughs> Glasses on because I've been tasked with looking at things that are natural fibres and you just can't tell by just looking at things but you know this is a beautiful colour beautiful cardigan but now here's the killer thing 70% uh, viscose and 30% nylon so that's not going to suit you Jo is it? No and well, how long do you think that'll hang around um, for the rest of its life? I think that's going to be around a lot longer than us. It you? will but as Mel just said it's probably better that it hangs around wearing someone than sitting in that's landfill. True. It's been made. It's being used. It yes, exists already. Indeed. Yeah so. Yeah. Found Mel. So I have found a pair of um, Peruna jeans, mm. size 10, for £2.25. Wow. So I'm just hoping that they are the right fit. And they're quite stretchy, aren't they? They are quite stretchy, yeah. Yeah, so they look good. Yeah, like yeah it's good quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. And Joe, what about you? I just love this dress so much. I beautiful mean, colour. Not that I have a lot of occasions to wear a dress like that, but it's so beautiful. It's actually from India Silk, is the company. Okay. And it's um, only three pounds for a dress like that. Wow. You can wear that to a wedding. Wow, it's so gorgeous. Or places that I don't get to go. Oh, you must try that on. I think I might have to. Yeah. I think I might have. To. So, Joe, the clothes didn't work out. No, I'm Too afraid small. that either the dress was too small or my tummy was too post Christmas Aww. it wasn't going to happen Aww. but I have fallen in love with this t-shirt from my son who's 13 Aww, look at and that. loves Star Wars so I know oh, that great. he will like it however the problem being now I have to find another um, one for my younger son like because I can't one. just get one for one no well, shoes in this charity yeah. shop they were like silver yeah. sneakers you know they say I know and every time I wear them <laughs> people say wow I love those trainers where'd you get them from three pound and cents but we're looking at this at the moment oh I could Oh, no. Ooh, I think all three of them. them. Like Actually, they're very similar to the boots I've got. Sure. Oh, well, you don't yes, need them. No, I know. Ooh. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> the boots, give me the boots. They're, they're very cute, aren't they? I think my seven-year-old daughter will love them. Well, oh. I've just looked on the label, and they are cotton and viscose. Uh, mixed. So viscose is a little bit of a problem. Yeah. But um, in my research for Cupboard Love, I have come across something called a guppy bag, which um, you put inside the washing machine with your clothes, and it attracts the microfibers. Um, um, stops them from being washed out with the washing water um, and then you just take them out of the bag at the end of the wash and put them into the bin so they're not then causing a problem. So a lot of these clothes are mixed fibres, it's hard to find pure cotton, pure wool. Um, so if you're doing charity shop shopping, guppy bags are a really good idea. They're a bit of an investment, they, I think they are 20 odd pounds but obviously they're going to last and last and you can kind of be safe in the knowledge that it's saving your water from microplastics. Because the problem is, what's the problem with my, microplastics really is that they get into our water system don't they and they, they've, been, they've even found them inside of fish and yeah. things like that. And then they're getting plastic. into the, the food Food cycle. Into the food cycle, so food. yeah. So we're basically eating little bits of plastic. And then the other thing, of course, is we don't need to wash our clothes nearly as often as we no. actually do. So if we throw things through the wash, the microplastics come out. But these guppy bags and equivalents are yeah. excellent, aren't they? Elaine, I think you have some celebrity charity shop purchases, don't you? I do. I bought something Oxfam online, and it was in fact a jacket owned. It's not this one here. It was a jacket owned by Felicity Kendall, Ooh. and it came with a certificate. You classy. To say that she'd owned it, and she'd obviously donated it to Oxfam. 
and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. She's very tiny. Yes, she does come across as petite. But oh. isn't that amazing though? Because I think yes. that's going to change the culture of charity shop buying. If you're yes. going to get celebrities and you own something yes. that was owned by a celebrity, Absolutely. that's suddenly really exciting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. an extra dimension to yeah. wearing those it's clothes. that stories thing again. Yes. You're adding to yes. the story because you yes. know the person, you've seen the person. I know. Famous. I remember yeah. buying something from a car boot service, this beautiful corduroy dress, and the woman said, the last time I wore this was to the races, to Newmarket races. And every time I wore it, I just thought about her wearing it to the races. Yeah. Thanks very much, Joe and Mel, for coming out charity shopping with me. All the very best with your Takeover Radio Suffolk show on the 5th of February at 7pm. It's going to be fabulous music and interviews, all from people who are out there in the local community hoping to make a difference to this planet we live on. Pre-Love Chica. Passion for fashion. Mm -hmm.